Hello, Britball Nation, and welcome to the Power Rankings following the penultimate week of the 16-17 Uniball season. This weekend saw all six conference champions locked in place in Division 2, so you might be able to predict our top six teams, but maybe not the order they're in. Remember to like this video if you want to see more video content from DC, and you never know, if enough of you like it, it might even start coming out on time. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on our ever-growing repertoire of YouTube content. That said, let's jump into the penultimate power rankings. One team cut between this week and last, as Hawu's debut appearance in the power rankings was a brief one. They couldn't put up enough points against a stingy Napier defence to keep pace in a fixture that would have given them the conference crown, though we did love the trickeration of a fake field goal to keep things interesting. York's loss this very afternoon means Hawu are now locked into a playoff spot, but whether it's a third or second place one is out of their hands, as Edinburgh can yet force Hawu down to third place in the conference by virtue of head-to-head. -head. That said, once UWAT hit the postseason, they're likely to be dangerous opponents, as they'll come in well-rested and playing with a chip on their shoulder. Bristol are another side narrowly missing out on the ranking spot once again this week. We were expecting a more confident victory from the Barracuda, who went into the mid-season break looking like the hot ticket in the southwest, but only put up 7 points on the Stout Bobcats D this weekend. Ultimately, their season comes to a crux on Sunday when they take on the Gloucestershire Gladiators, and we expect that either side will need to put up more than 7 points to win that one. All that said, in all likelihood, Cuda will see postseason balling win or lose on Sunday. Ten. Glads hold firm in the number 10 spot. Nominally, Bristol are ahead of them in the seedings for now, but that could all change when the two sides go head-to-head -head on Sunday. While whoever emerges on top from the fixture will clinch the number 2 spot in the conference, odds are that both teams are postseason bound, short of shipping 60-plus points in their loss. Nine. A healthy win over BNU and the head-to-head -head over UCL means the Stags are locked into the postseason and can give themselves a shot at a home berth with a win over Chichester this weekend. Eight. Bangers slide a little, but only because others climb. With Hawu and Edinburgh losing this past weekend, the Mudogs are now locked in as the number 4 seed in Division 2 North, as even were the Coventry Jets to find a way to get their remaining fixture against DMU played, that they actually need to concede negative points to match the Mudogs' points against per game average. We know there's many things about football that we don't know, but we're fairly certain negative points are not a thing. At least not yet. Seven. Quimble finally start climbing a little higher in the rankings as the new kids on the block continue to find ways to win. Even if you discount the two walkovers they've been given this year, they're still a four-win team in their rookie season and ran the conference promotees, the Canterbury Chargers, close, leading at the half. Awesome season for the Vipers and we'll have high expectations for them next year, especially if they make a big splash in playoffs. Six. It was an unpopular decision to place the Longhorns in the number five spot last week, so we doubt many Leicester fans will be happy to see them slide some this week as they leapfrogged. The Longhorns locked up their first conference crown in possibly ever, but they came within a score or two of a disappointing season at many points during the year. All that said, the postseason's the perfect time to prove our rankings wrong, guys. Five. Blitz locked up the 2A Southwest for a second straight year in emphatic style, putting up a host of points against an Aberystwyth side who made the long trip south. They won the conference with a 5-1 record last season too, but the real difference maker this year is that the Blitz are hitting the postseason at the perfect time for them. They're about as healthy as they've been all season. Four. The first conference champ to be crowned in the bottom tier, Canterbury finally wrap up their season after twiddling their thumbs atop the 2A South throne since week 8. Could this weekend's fixture against the feisty UEL Phoenix be a trap game for the Chargers, who might be feeling a little rusty after so many Sundays without a competitive fixture? Three. The Knights did their talking on the football field on Sunday, and despite a range of controversies coming out of the fixture, they locked up the 2A Borders for a second season in a row. They kept their momentum going for a quick turnaround and headed to York this afternoon, taking a 9-0 win back north of the wall with them. The win sees the Knights post what we believe is their first ever undefeated season, and also lock up the number one seed in the north, heading to playoffs by virtue of their shutdown defence. Two. The Griffins sit pretty at number two. Keel put up some good numbers against the lead side, but the Griffins put up better ones. The Knights may have overtaken the Griffins in the seedings, but the majority of their wins have come by a far more comfortable margin than the Scotsman, owing to the fact that their offence has been on form all season long, the top scoring side in Division 2 that is averaging more than 35 points per game this year. One. And no surprises, the Bruners hold firm in their number one spot as they cruise to a 34-5 victory over the only potential threat to their crown at the weekend. For a clock-eating ground attack focused offence, they've done a nice job of posting up some big scorelines this year and will be tough for any team to beat in the sudden half of the playoffs. And there you have it Nation! Remember if you don't agree with our rankings, get in touch below and odds are we'll get back to you with our reasoning, or maybe just tell you that you were right all along. Division 1 and the Premiership Power Rankings are on their way and in the meantime, play hard, 
play safe. And go check out this week's scoop, which covers the really important bits of the past week of Britball.